Hey YouTube, Rob and Karen here, and we are ready to do the draw for our 1,000 subscriber giveaway. So I have, uh, here, I'm just gonna grab the camera here. Uh, we have loaded up the YouTube random comment picker, and uh, here is the URL for the website. So I'm just gonna come over here, and uh, where's the mic, there we go. And now we're gonna try and do this all in one shot so that everything can, you know, be all on the up and up. Everybody knows we're not editing the video to try to get who are, you know, who we want to win or something like that, which we don't have any favorites. Mm -hmm. uh, so anyways, there's the uh, URL. I'm just gonna click on the search and it's gonna load and we have 129 unique commenters. Now, the problem with this whole process is uh, Karen and I reply to a lot of your comments and so we are included in those 129 unique commenters. Oh. So there is a chance that Karen or myself... Oh, I'm excited. Uh, I didn't know I could win. We might win. Oh! I know, high five. Those things are cool. So if that happens, we'll just sort of reload the page and draw again. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So, so we've loaded the first page here, and uh, as you can see, 129 unique commenters. And I'm just going to hit the start button here, and it's going to pick a winner. So this first draw is going to be for the winner, and uh, then we're going to draw again for second place. So here we go. Lynn Carl is the winner of the giveaway. Yay, Lynn! All right, Lynn Carl, you have won. Uh, between your choice of the UV flashlight or the uh, silver dollar, the yeah. Canadian silver dollar. Uh, we'll go back to the screen here and we're just gonna go uh, back and start this again. And we're gonna draw for second place now. Here, 129 commenters. We'll go over and hit start. And good luck to everybody. Randy Clough, you are our second place winner. So whatever Lynn Carl doesn't take, we will send to you. So Randy and Lynn contact us uh, either on Facebook or in the private message section of YouTube. We'll get those prizes out to you immediately. And stick around guys for Karen's project vlog. All right. <laughs> See you soon. Bye. So we got these, just the pictures without, so I imagine the frames are easily broken because they're the bubble glass frames. But we bought these, so I have this one and I'm going to put it in this frame that needs to be cleaned. <laughs> and then I also have, ready to go here. This one, this one's color, and it's gonna go in this frame that we already had, luckily enough. <laughs> so, gotta be careful, because I'm not really sure what this is, but this is kind of dusty. They had it pinned up in the bathroom at the antique store where we got it, so we rescued them from there. All right, so we need to clean the glass, because I think we've had this one for a while, so it's been sitting in my workshop a long time. So, I think that's good. I'm just gonna get that towel off so I can lay it down. Okay, 
So these aren't like regular frames. As you can see that the glass is rounded. So when I tip it over, all the weight is going to be resting on the glass. So keep that in mind if you're going to be doing this because you need to push down a little too hard and then <laughs> then you'd be sad because the glass is the well I think the most expensive part of these frames. So anyway this one a lot of them are wood so they'll have nails to hold the back. This one just has metal tabs so you can see them to hold the back on so that's easy enough so you want to make sure that you're making a good decision about what you're putting in here um, only because the more you bend these tabs back and forth the more chance that that it'll, the metal will weaken at the point where it's bending so it will eventually break off and then you won't have anything for the back so keep that in mind I mean you can change it a couple times but don't get like crazy with it because you, <laughs> you want all the tabs just ping gone and then you'll have a real hard time you have to glue it in or something okay so I've moved the tabs and now you can see because I push the tabs up you can see the glass is has pushed itself up because the frame is flat and glass is not. So we're gonna clean the inside now. I like to use, we just have like some old hand towels and stuff that we just keep rewashing and stuff. They don't really leave after a while, like they don't leave lint and stuff. So I like to use these, plus it's better for the environment than using a paper paper towel every time so I can see I'm gonna have to use my razor blade on this so you can see on the other side where they painted it see the gold paint and it's up here too so that's okay I'll just put it back together and then I'll just take my blade and clean that off okay so now I think this has a top and a bottom. Yeah, it does. So the top of this one is a little bit taller, more decorative. And then the bottom is a little bit smaller. So, put him in here. And he fits perfectly. So we want to get the glass back down. I'm just going to kind of hold it up like that so that the glass can sit in where it's supposed to. Put the back on. Get that in nice. And then you probably just finger, just bend these down with your fingers. These are not hard. It's not a thick piece of metal, so. pretty secure and look at that look how nice yeah see I'm gonna have to take the blade and get that off is that on the inside or the outside it's on the outside okay from when somebody painted the frame or when the frame was painted or whatever but yeah so that looks good I think looks great good yeah. job baby thank you Straight? I think so. Yeah. I think he's just got his head cocked. Maybe I think it was crooked. Yeah, no, he looks straight. Okay, again. Don't need anything fancy. This is more than good enough. And you can they just last forever because if this is all you're using it for, you see how it's I'm coming towards you. fix that paint right off and then we'll just windex it's not gonna scratch your glass like some other cleaning stuff can 
Is that it? Oh no, there's some up at the top there. Lovely. Ready to? Well, not ready to hang yet. I still got attached picture wire. That's what those guys are for. These two little sticky outies. Oh yeah. How do you attach? Oh, they actually got holes in them. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But he will join our family. Be a, uh, lo a lovely addition. Another instant ancestor. Yeah. We can never have too many. We'll never say no. <laughs> <laughs> it totally looks like your dad. It totally does look like my dad. Hey, dad. <laughs> what do you think of that? We found your ancestor. This one really is, I think, <laughs> an actual ancestor because it really looks like Rob's dad, which is really funny. But, yeah, it's pretty awesome anyway. Even though it looks like Rob's dad, it's still awesome. So he got the fancier frame, too. Yeah. Yeah, we buy these frames whenever we see them. And then when we were at the antique mall, we found these without frames. So the camera ran out of batteries yeah. just before we found these and we didn't capture it, but these are um, much cheaper <laughs> without the frame. But then you still got to buy the frame, so but we happen to have two, so that was awesome. And we're getting another one that is this right shape for one of the other instant ancestors that we got, so that's awesome. We're talking to, I was talking to a friend just today. Okay, so this, again, this one was pinned up in their bathroom. And why would they do that? I like, don't know. Who would know to buy it? I didn't even know there was a bathroom in there. <laughs> right? <laughs> well, it's behind the till, so. You wouldn't think it's for. How would you know? Like anybody other than the staff. Yeah, and the door's usually closed. Yeah, because I didn't even know it was there. Yeah. Until they sent. Well, I'm glad I asked about those other photos, too. Mm hmm. So I don't think this one's been painted. It's a little bit. rough like it's a little bit it was somewhere damp <laughs> for a while i think well, that's on the inside that's why i hate glass because i never know inside outside okay so this one's a little bit different it has a metal back but the way you take it out is the same these all bend up <laughs> what is it? I don't know. Piece of grass. <laughs> this is really dirty. Obviously, never took it apart and cleaned it before. Yuck. <laughs> A lot of schmutz.
Okay. Is this how the top is? Oh yeah, that's the top. See how it's a little bit taller? And then the bottom just kind of ends. But you can hang it however you want. If you don't think that's the top, then it doesn't have to be except that that's where the thing is. But this one, oh no, this one only has the two hanger. This one has the wire already. Okay. If it's in there, good. Got it the first time, so I just have to make sure it's inside because these all like to go on the outside of the little tabs and then makes it hard, hard to uh, get in, but we locked out this time. And voila! There's a little more cleaning as you can see. <laughs> but looks good. So these are our two new additions to our instant ancestor family that we just acquired and we had the frames, so they're gonna look awesome. Good job. Thanks.